What's going on guys? So this is the first video with the new setup. I still have some uh, tweaks to do here and there, but overall it's coming along. So I wanted to make a video just uh, sharing some personal tips that helped me to learn new things and helped me learn how to code uh, and learn new technologies. Because I think when people start to learn how to code, it's very overwhelming. There's so much out there. There's so much to learn. You don't know which, which way to go. Um, and I think that it comes easy to very few people, you know, and I'm definitely not one of those people. So uh, these are just some things that I've done throughout the years. Uh, I've tried many different avenues, but I think this is the stuff that helped me the most. And, uh, and, and I didn't know it right away. It took me years to really figure out what works for me. So, uh, and I think that, that these are some general things that will help a lot of people. So first thing I would say, focus on the fundamentals. Um, this is one of the most important things when learning to code. I see people time after time, they kind of rush through the, the fundamentals so they can start learning a specific framework or something like that, or start creating projects, which is understandable. That's, that's the fun part. Um, but when I see people move too fast, I also see them get really caught up and, and struggle later on. And I've also done this myself. Uh, now, a lot of people say the phrase, you know, focus on the fundamentals. And a lot of them don't really tell you what that means. And I do think it can be subjective. So um, what I'm talking about really is some general concepts of programming and how programming languages work, as well as fundamentals in the specific language that you choose. I think it's a good idea just to look at the different languages, look at where they are on the stack, you know, high level versus low level, understanding the difference between compiled languages and interpreted languages. And, and just how programming actually works. And it just gives you a better idea of, of what's available and, and gives you a better idea of what you want to do. You know, where do you, what, do you want to do Python? Do you want to do lower level C++ stuff? Um, it gives you just a good idea. So it's good to know the fundamentals of just programming. And then as far as languages, you want to learn data types, data structures, iteration, algorithms, really sharpen your skills. When it comes to any language, um, you just it helps you become a better problem solver, and that helps you through your entire career, regardless of what language, what framework you're using. These are skills that you're gonna always need, and and they're always gonna be helpful. So the next one is study the docs. I think documentation can be a, a developer's best friend, and and this even helps you with the first one of focusing on the fundamentals. So if you're like in a waiting room or, or somewhere where you have some time and you have your phone, bring up MDN or PHP.net, whatever it is you're learning, and just go over as much of the documentation as you can. You know, tutorials and courses are great, but there's, those are still third-party resources where the documentation is always going to have the most up-to-date content. There's no fluff. There's nobody trying to sell you courses. There's no overexcited YouTube personalities. It's just straight information. Uh, and that's what my learning consists of is documentation, uh, project based video courses and learning from other people's code. So that actually brings me to the next one, which is learn from other people. And this includes learning from them personally, if possible, if you have, uh, you know, coworkers or other students around you, if you're in school or, or boot camp, try and learn as much as you can from them without being a pain in the ass, you know, don't follow them around and ask them a hundred questions, but um, you know, you want to you want to respect their their space and time. Uh, I would I would also say learn from people's code. Just go on GitHub and find projects that are similar to what you want to do or, or what you're building, and just go through them line for line. And, and of course, you're not going to understand it all, but you can go and try to figure out what each chunk of code means. You know, look up the different methods and, and all that in in the documentation. So I think that real life code examples are really helpful. They're not as, as handholding as tutorials, but they are very helpful. So I would, I would say always go beyond tutorials. Uh, obviously, I, I think tutorials and courses are very useful. I've basically dedicated my career to them. However, I will be the first one to tell you that tutorials are only half the battle. Uh, every time you watch a project based tutorial, you should follow along with the instructor. You know, I create my tutorials expecting the viewers to follow along. But don't have that be all you do, you know, try and, and um, build additional features onto the project. Uh, and people like to make fun of to do lists. And it's become kind of a meme or a cliche, but I think they're great because they give you a foundation and show you how to create CRUD functionality, create, read, update and delete. So you can take what you've learned 
and you can add new resources onto that project. You know, you can change the look of it with CSS. You could create an API or you could create a front end if it's an API tutorial. You can take multiple tutorials and build something with the knowledge that you get from each one. So this will also take you out of tutorial hell. Um, and then the next one I would say is immerse yourself into learning. And that probably needs some explanation. So I know that we live in an age of Twitter and Instagram posts, YouTube shorts, TikTok videos. And it, it, it really kind of scares me because people, are, they seem to have no attention span anymore. And yes, you can learn tips and tricks from, from really short form content like that. But what has always helped me, and I think will help a lot of people, is looking at learning as kind of like a meditation session. You set some hours aside, create a comfortable atmosphere, you know, put on some music if that's your thing, get a tea or a coffee, and, and just really immerse yourself into what you're doing. Uh, and, and, and I think one of the biggest things that I can attribute to my success is that I, I really like doing this. I love doing this. I think it's peaceful. It's relaxing. Um, and, and until you really can't figure out, then you kind of want to smash your monitor. But that feeling when you finally do figure it out is, is all worth it. You know, it's almost like a high. And, and, and that's coming from an actual ex-drug addict. So I think that you should just immerse yourself in what you're doing. And, and uh, you know, that's, that can be really helpful. And then the last one I would say is never be a know-it-all. So I'm sure we've all seen and known arrogant know-it-all programmers. In all honesty, I can't stand to be around these people. Uh, although them being an annoyance isn't the reason that I say this. I say this because if you if you think you know it all, then you're not going to be open to learning. You know, there's no one on the planet that could know everything about even a single programming language. You can always learn more, and you should always look for opportunities to learn. Uh, and I don't care if you've been coding for 50 years, uh, things are always changing in technology and we should always be growing as developers. You know, we should, we should try to help each other every step of the way and never bash each other for not knowing something. You know, if your coworker or your, your schoolmate or whatever, if they don't know something, take that opportunity to, um, to help them out, you know, never make someone feel bad, uh, for not knowing something. You should, you should always try to be a student and a teacher. All right, so that's it, guys. Um, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully some of these tips will help you out, and I will see you soon.